Hi, I'm Dan Brooks from Crystal Lake Resort. I'm a licensed outfitter here in British Columbia and we do an awful lot of spring black bear hunting. One of the biggest questions clients ask me when they come up hunting with me is how do you judge a trophy black bear? I believe that is a very important question. One of the things that make or break a trophy and quality hunt here in British Columbia. One of the most important things when judging black bears is to determine the sex of the bear. Obviously, the biggest bears are gonna be your boars. Black bears start rutting about the 1st of June to the middle of June, and that is the key time to hunt black bears. During this time frame, it's not uncommon to find big boars cruising for sows, and in an ideal situation, finding a big boar with a sow as a breeding pair. The breeding pair is a gimme. The biggest bear is gonna be the boar, and that's obviously gonna be the one you wanna harvest. One of the key features to determining whether it's a boar or not is looking at the girth. The big front end on boars is a real determining factor. They have big shoulders in the front end that make them look bigger in the front than they do in the back. Boars have narrow hips, which looks like a horseshoe when viewed from behind. When walking, boars often waddle. They walk pigeon-toed. Their heads are square and blocky. Sows have a much smaller girth. Their rear end will look bigger than their front. The butt appears higher than the front when viewed from the side. Their hips are wider, almost in a heart shape when viewed from behind, and they tend to waddle in the rear when walking, and their head features are soft and rounded. Now that we've determined the sex of the bear, we have to decide whether it's a shooter or not. What we're really looking for is bears in the 18 plus category. An 18 inch bear is gonna be a good mature boar, but a 19 to 20 inch bear is gonna be an exceptional bear, and once you get over 20, you're into the ridiculous category. Those are great, spectacular bears. There's three things we're gonna look at to determine the size of a boar to decide whether or not we wanna harvest it. That's the head, the neck, and the body shape. When looking at the head of a bear, the biggest feature you're gonna look for is ears that appear small and on the side of the head. That's a good sign of a big bear. But bears also tend to grow a lot of meat on top of their skulls. And when that happens, they create a crease in the middle of their forehead that is very distinct. When you find a creased bear, that's a good bear. The heads should appear square and not triangular. If it appears fox-like, that's a small bear. The square features include a nose that appears short and attaches to the face at right angles. The nose should not appear to flow into the cheekbones as it comes up the face. And the eyes should appear small and beady. The next thing we look at is the neck. A big bear should look as though it has no neck at all. In fact, the neck will almost appear bigger than the head itself. If you can see a small neck behind the jawline, that's a small bear. There should be no distinct size difference between the neck and the head behind the ears. The last thing we're gonna look at is the general body shape and legs. On a big bear, legs should appear short. The belly should hang low to the ground. If a bear appears to have long legs, that's usually a sign of a small bear. Big bears have big front ends. The chest should appear quite large, almost bigger than the back end of the bear. Big bears have big barreled chests. Occasionally, very big bears appear to have a sway back behind the shoulder hump. When possible, compare the general body size to an object nearby that you already know the size of. Well, here we are folks, and Adam Bender just killed this monster black bear. And while we've got it here, I wanna show you some of the features that enabled us to judge this bear to know the quality and that we wanted to take this bear. And let's start with the head. If you'll just look at these features, see how far apart these ears are? I can put my whole hand in between his ears quite easily. Tip to tip, those ears are well over 12 inches, probably more like 15 tip to tip. Key feature on this head is this crease. And also I want you to notice how this nose engages into the cheekbones. The nose does not flow smoothly in, it comes up and then it's like a sharp blocky angle out. The head is not rounded or triangular, it is blocky. Some of the other things that you're gonna be looking for is the neck size, just the massive neck size in this bear. This neck is bigger than his head. That is really important. It almost looks like he has no neck. Up here on the top, he actually does have a bit of that hump action going on and a, a small amount of that sway back. The girth on this bear is another key feature. Just the size of his chest, and I, I wanna do this with, let's pick up this head a little bit. You can just see the bulk of the neck there. Just look at the bulk of that neck. 
That's a huge neck and engages into this great big front end. So when you start asking yourself, just how much does a bear like this weigh? We have a formula that we use to calculate this in the field. We're gonna calculate it right now here in the field. So Adam, if you'll help me, what we've gotta do is we've gotta measure his girth. So we'll stretch this tape measure around him and his girth is 41 inches. The formula we use when Determining the weight of a bear as we take the girth around the chest, just behind the arms, minus 26, so 41 minus 26 gives us 15. Multiply that by 14. What's our weight? 210 pounds. So this is a 210 pound black bear. This is a big mature boar. Congratulations, Adam. Thank you. This is a trophy of a lifetime for sure. Many people will hunt their whole lives and never kill a trophy bear this big. If you're out looking for sign for bears, there's another couple things that you can look at that'll help you determine the size of a bear. If you can find some bear tracks and that track is bigger than five inches, that's gonna be a big bear. The general rule of thumb is you take the width of the pad, add an inch, and that's how long your bear is. There's also one other thing you can look at and that's the piles of bear scat. The bigger the boar, the bigger the boar. Most importantly, after you've done judging up a bear, make sure it's the bear that you want. Many bears look good from far, but are far from good. And if you have to talk yourself into shooting it, you probably shouldn't shoot. Good luck and good hunting. Eastman's Hunting and Boning Journals are the number one magazines for hardcore Western hunters. Eastman's is the only resource that gives the DIY reader license and area information, hardcore gear reviews, and hunting strategies for all the Western big game species. How do Eastman's magazines help you to hunt and take that once in a lifetime big game trophy? Our MRS section gives state by state breakdowns and is only available to subscribers of Eastman's hunting and bow hunting journal. Our MRS section covers Arizona, Colorado, Montana, New Mexico, Nevada, Wyoming, Oregon, Idaho, and Utah for all the trophy species. Each issue of the magazine contains trophy hunting stories, hardcore gear reviews, and hunting tips and tactics. Subscribe to Eastman's and I'll throw in a full-length hunting DVD of your choice, free with your subscription or renewal. Shipping and handling rates do apply. Subscribe now. Nothing gives Western trophy hunters the edge like Eastman's.